We've been enjoying some sensational weather all week long. Some nice uh, variety of temperatures, some crisp, cool mornings, some warm and humid afternoons. We've had all, all of it uh, happening this week. And uh, another example of some interesting uh, color in the in the, the sunset as we looked uh, westward from near Rochester. This is one of our viewers' uh, photos from yesterday. Gary Klein took this picture yesterday. Of course, some of that haze aloft from wildfires out west, uh, producing that uh, little extra uh, strange color, the little extra orange, a little red there in that sunset. Kind of cool to see though. Anyway, looking outside, waiting for sun this morning. There's gonna be a ton of sun later on. Right now, still waiting patiently for any hints of daylight as we look outside from Assisi Heights. That's our Lewiston Auto Camera. 68 right now. Uh, temperature here at the studio in Northwest Rochester. Light south breeze, dew point 61. So a little bit of a muggy start. They certainly one of the warmest mornings we've had so far in uh, the past week or more. 62 at the Rochester Airport. Austin 63. Winona 63, Cresco 64. Yesterday we reached 84. Today, attack on a degree or two, and that's what we're facing today. So not a lot of changes. A little more humidity. Certainly we noticed that change yesterday. That has really worked its way into the area, and we're going to have a warm, uh, humid, but quiet and tranquil Thursday ahead of us. 62 right now in Rochester, officially at the airport. Dew point 60. Air pressure is steady. Across the map, skies are clear. We're going to enjoy a day filled with sun. A few fair weather cumulus clouds will bubble up from time to time, but no widespread cloud cover. Still plenty of warm uh, sun to help us reach the mid-80s. Next storm system to the west on the backside of this high pressure. As it finally moves out of here, that system comes in and that will bring us a chance of thunderstorms. Severe weather risk. Nothing, of course, today because we're going to stay dry, but to the west, some large hail and damaging wind gusts are possible all the way from Bismarck down to Rapid City and North Platte, Nebraska. For us, tomorrow night is the prime time to be weather aware because after about 9 o'clock, some of the storms develop to the west and they'll be migrating into our area. So after 9 until about midnight or just beyond that, looking at a chance of some damaging wind gusts primarily, but also some hail. And tornadoes will also be possible and heavy rainfall. So we're we'll watching the situation. It's level 2 out of 5 from the Storm Prediction Center. So the slight risk, officially, that's the term uh, that is used for that uh, particular criteria uh, being met in that severe weather outlook. Temperatures across the map this morning, 60s and there are some 70s. Look at Fargo, 73 already warm for this time of the morning. Uh, 72 in Sioux Falls, Rochester again, 60s, Marquette 57. Behind that storm system, uh, not quite as warm, some 50s. We'll have some, some 50s in the coming nights once we get past this uh, storm system uh, heading into the weekend time frame. A little more muggy, also mugginess building in ahead of that. So humidity is certainly prevalent, and it's going to be with us today and tomorrow before we see that cold front and its thunderstorm chances move on through. And then we'll have a mild weekend beyond that heading into Saturday and Sunday. It looks like a really good looking weekend overall. 65, uh, some sunshine, light south breeze for our morning commute. Uh, day planners, some sun, a few fair weather afternoon clouds. 84 around 3 o'clock, as warm as we were yesterday, but even beyond that, another degree or so for the high temperature. 85, and then tonight staying in the 60s and low 70s. Here's future track. High pressure has moved down to the east behind it. A little bit of a southerly breeze. Light to moderate winds today, around 10, 12 miles per hour with a little bit of that mugginess. So it'll feel like it's about 90 with uh, temperatures themselves right around the mid 80s. Tomorrow, a few extra clouds, a more gustier breeze yet. Winds at times 20 miles per hour. And then eventually tomorrow night, here comes that line of storms that will rumble into the area. Severe weather risk associated with that too. Again, 9 o'clock to midnight or just beyond. And then on Saturday morning, behind that cold front, less humidity coming in, drier, more pleasant weather of 70s for highs for the weekend. Today, uh, today, looking at Thursday's downtown forecast, great day to be down there. I think the guy selling the cold drinks bakes uh, will do well today. We'll put it that way. 85 uh, with a lot of sun, just a hint of a breeze, and uh, I feel like it's about 90 with that heat index factored in. Some thunderstorm chances tomorrow night, again Sunday night, and for parts of Tuesday. So there are rain chances about every other day. Otherwise, a lot of uh, decent sunshine and some great summer weather. 70s and 80s all throughout the next week. 85 today with uh, warm, humid weather. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour tonight. Uh, look for clear skies. Uh, lows around 66. A muggy night. Light winds. The 7-day forecast again. 80s tomorrow, but then 70s over the weekend. Rain chances again, mainly at night. So the daytime hours of the weekend look terrific. With the uh, outdoor high school sports practices mm -hmm. going right now, I yeah. uh, have to stay hydrated for some of those. That's true. Thank you, Ted.